What's up friends and welcome back to another video. I'm 7 Beats. Today we're gonna create a more jazz inspired Afrobeat in Apple Studio. If you're interested in the sounds which I'm going to use in this tutorial, make sure to check out the Afrobeats producer kit. The link is in the description. It includes all the sounds you need to create awesome Afrobeats in 2022. And lately I've been using some identical synthesizers, but for this beat I'm gonna search for some more original synths. So let's get right into it. So for this beat first, I'm gonna adjust the BPM to 105. And then I'm gonna start off using the stage 73. I want to give this beat a jazz type of feeling and this instrument from Aturia is perfect. So let's use this Juki preset. Maybe add some more reverb. And reduce the chorus a little bit. So adjust the mix to around 16% like this. So I'm gonna create this beat in B minor. So I'm gonna select view, scale highlighting, and adjust it to B. So right now first, quantize it. First I'm drawing in the root notes. Just duplicate this one, add it one octave lower. All right, now we're gonna build a melody on top of this one. So we're gonna start off by building the melody. Copy this one again, adjust this to A, and then I'm dragging in, dragging in a G, B, and reusing this one again. Maybe make another adjustment to the instrument. Maybe make the chords repeat two times a bar. So right now I've created this eight bar chord progression. I've added some more notes in between and it sounds like this. the volume a little bit. And right now, just let's start off with the piano. I'm just using the American in it. And let's copy this one into this one. I'm gonna remove these notes in between. And right now, just add a saw bass. And I'm using Serum for creating the saw bass. And I've just released a new Serum Bass Presets Pack. It's available on my website. So I highly recommend checking it out. Presets. And let's for example use Bass 2. Great bass. And then I'm just gonna reuse the root notes from chord progression, paste it into the bass, and then just quantize it like this so it fills up whole four bars. And right now we're gonna add another element. So in this case, I'm gonna use contact. Let's add some horns on top of this one. So session horns, single articulation. So let's add this one. And right now I'm gonna add a new element from FM8. And I've used the synthesizer more often lately because it contains some pretty awesome presets. So for example, I'm gonna search for a flute. So let's use this blue bottle flute preset. Right now we're gonna add some notes in between, like this. That sounds great. I'm gonna do something similar right here. Let's use this one again. 
And now I'm using this F sharp. And let's just use this one octave lower. I remove the high transitioning note. So this is the second part of the flute melody. Alright, now just let's add another instance of FMA. So I'm using this smoother preset, just a kind of ambient sound, just filling up the empty space. Starting off at B. Sounds like a kind of effect, but I think it's pretty awesome. So we've added six synthesizer layers and now it's time to add a rhythm. So we're gonna add some drums. So I'm gonna use my Afrobeats producer kit. If you want to check out the preview of this pack, which is free, make sure to check out the free downloads page on my website. Let's pick this kick, which is really present. And let's start off with a rim shot. Push in this one, which is kind of a trap rim shot. Quantize it again. Then I'm adding the kick. That sounds great. So reducing the volume of some of the elements. So I've added those two kicks just to make it more interesting. So let's use another hi-hat. Use this one. So I'm gonna add a roll right here. Copy it again. And I think the pitch of this head is maybe too low in this case, so I'm gonna turn it up to T. Sounds way much better. And I've also randomized the velocity of the heads by using option R. So yes, let's add an open head. So let's use this fountains one. Right now just add some more percussions. So select wood, clavis. Let's use this one. So I've added this rhythm. Which is most of the times playing along with the rim shot. And right now just let's add some more snares. Let's add this one. And this one. And let's just add, maybe paste this one into the other one. That sounds great. So I'm using a lot of elements just to create something original. And right now just let's add another snare alternative. So let's use this bell kind of percussion. Now let's add another shaker. Let's use this one. Turn on the velocity. I use this middleman clip. And maybe add it right here. That was exactly what I was looking for. So I'm pasting it into the arrangement and add a shaker loop. Let's use this one. Maybe play around with this sample. So select the pre-computed effects and I'm gonna add, and I'm gonna just remove all the low frequencies. 
So right now we have an original snare. Maybe add some swing. So I've added the melodies, the bass lines, the drums, and now I'm gonna create the final beat and got you through that arrangement. So this is the final beat. I've added another drum loop for my sample pack. Great drum loop. I'm gonna remove my tag. And I've also reversed the simple piano chords. So I hope you enjoy the final result. As you can hear, I've added some reverb to the horn. If you for Halle Vintage Verb. There's the stage chords. I have a mate coming in. All drums coming in. I've added this EQ to the stage chords and this OTT multiband compressor. Flute coming in. To the flute I've added this delay, an EQ and some more reverb. So that's it and I'm gonna wrap up the video. Thank you so much for watching this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I hope to see you in one of my next tutorials.